Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Zoom Cloud Meetings app on your mobile devices. This will work whether you have an iPhone, Android, whatever mobile device you have, it's going to be the same processes throughout. So in this video I'm going to be going across all the features, uh, showing you trying to do it as quickly and concisely as possible. Uh, so first of all we're going to be starting off with the join meetings part, so click that plus join me, uh, uh, join button there, that's going to be join the meeting, most of you are going to be using that as your main thing for this. You can either join with a meeting ID or you can join with like a personal link name as it says there. Most of you will receive that uh, but you will have got this uh, like number off your like uh, work colleague uh, or your teacher or whatever. This is the one that you want to type in. If you don't have it you can need to get this number to join the meeting. So type that in uh, once you've got that and then uh, also you can change your first name and last name if you really want to for this for whatever reason. Uh, you can type that in there uh, and also uh, you can have a choice to join with audio or uh, with video or not to join with those. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to join it, make sure they're green. If you want them to be on, you just leave them white. Then once that's done, you're happy, click the join button in the middle there. Then it will uh, uh, wait for a little bit. And then depending on whether you've got a video or not, it's going to stay join with video or join without video. It's going to give you one last chance to do it. And then you can click join with video if you want to or if not. And then it say, yeah, the meeting host will let you in soon. As that's potentially if a meeting is like, uh, it has to be accepted by the host, if not, it will come in. I say to hear others, please join audio. I'm going to say call internet audio. You can also dial in as well. That's up to you and your situation for that. Uh, but then uh, you're going to be in the call right there. You can click in the middle button and it's going to come up with all the options like uh, muting. A uh, big thing is uh, basically with the mute button, make sure if you're not the one that's like, supposed to be speaking, keep it muted. That's like general etiquette so not everyone's hearing your background audio, etc. So you want to keep that done until you start speaking. And then the one next to it, stop and start video. If you want it to stop for every reason, now all you've got to just do is click on them. When they're red, that means they're off. When they're not, that means they're on. The general rule of thumb. And then uh, the share content uh, middle button there. Uh, you can share a screen. It's pretty uh, pretty simple once you're in there. I'm not going to show it particularly because it's going to just freeze this video. And I won't be able to do it in one go. But it's just share screen. You can click on that. It's pretty self-explanatory within there. You can also add photos, iCloud, Drive, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, website URL, and bookmark. You can also add that all to the chat. For each of them buttons, they're all pretty self-explanatory. But that's how you get all of them there. And then you can also click on a participants. Everyone in the chat there. Uh, you can either click on your name, which is going to give you a bunch of options like raise your hand. You can click raise your hand there, so that means that the, uh, the teacher or whoever will know it's you. And you can also lower it by clicking it again. And you can unmute your audio from this little box right here. And you can also rename again if you want to for whatever reason. And then the same type of thing with other people, you can click on there. And you can have like a private chat with someone within the chat so not everyone's seeing it. Or you can actually have it with um, everyone in the chat. So this is a test there. And then you can uh, click on that. You can also mute notifications if you really want to. Uh, so you're not going to get popping up all the time. In the bottom left, you can chat and invite as well. You can invite more participants into this call. Uh, so in the bottom right-hand corner as well, you've got some more options. You've got a uh, chat. Uh, so with the chat, uh, you can go and um, obviously do the same thing as you did before. And uh, also the meeting settings one, you can click on that. And that's going to bring up like a bunch of different meetings. This might be wherever you are, uh, like the host of the meeting. Or not, it's a bunch of things you could do here, like always allow meeting controls, touch on my appearance, close captioning, show your name when petition was joined, show my connected time. You can click them on or off as you did before. Pretty simple within there. And then you click done once you're done with it. Then click back to the more as well. This one here, the minimize uh, setting one. Uh, basically, your camera is going to appear there so then you can get to the rest of the app. You can move it around, it's going to kind of lock in place uh, so you're not like hiding. Being able to like click other places on the app there, so you can do that. And then click the video and go back in, or click join back meeting. And then again, uh, you can click that bottom right hand corner there, and then you can like raise hand or not, and also uh, uh, do a bunch of other things there within the app, uh, like uh, raising your hand, etc. And also giving that uh, the thumbs up button, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and show that as well. Uh, so there's a bunch of different things you can do within that more uh, sections app. You can also uh, turn your camera at the top left hand corner. Uh, back and forth, you can also mute in the top left hand corner as well. Uh, there's a bunch of different things you could do, but that's pretty much everything covered within uh, the uh, like video thing. So you can click the top right hand corner, it's kind of say leave meeting once that's done. And uh, also, if you want to uh, start a meeting yourself, uh, there's a, like, like a now meeting thing there, and it say that you can join it with a video on and have your personal ID. You can click it on and off with both of them. And you can click start meeting once you're done, but everything within there is pretty much the same thing as I discussed before. But this is just 
how you start the meeting, you can say, yeah, call cool, you needs an audio again or whatever, uh, depending on your situation. Everything is the same, the mute button, the stop video, share content, participants more, etc. And I turn the camera back and forth as well, using the top left-hand corner part there. It's all the same thing, so you can end the meeting or leave the meeting there. Uh, so that's pretty much how it's done for all the meeting parts. Now onto the other parts of the app. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the schedule meeting thing. Uh, so this is obviously... A uh, bunch of different options you can do uh, with this. You can name the meeting. Let's say if you're the teacher or whatever, you can like do your business class. For example, I'm going to do an example of that here. So just type in business or whatever like that. And then you can say what time it starts. Like I said, today at 3 p.m. for instance. You can go through and change the times there. And then you get the duration. If it's over 40 minutes, there's like a pro option. So you won't be able to do any more than 40 unless you do have that. Uh, you can change the uh, scheduled time zone for that, uh, repeat. Uh, so that every Wednesday your, your session is, you could do that so all your students, etc., know that that's what it is. Uh, use their personal meeting ID, require the password, host video participant on and on, audio option, enable waiting room, all that is going to be ticked off and on. The audio option, yeah, you can do your telephone only, device audio only, or both there, like it's ticked. You can change your options. And then with the advanced options, they just allow uh, to join before host and automatically record meeting. So that will record meeting to the local computer, etc. You can uh, go through and change them settings, whether it applies to you or not. Uh, that's pretty much everything done there. Just click done once you've done that, and then that will set up your meeting. And it will give you all the information there uh, that you can kind of send to people and uh, make sure that everyone's there on the meeting on time. Uh, so once that's done, you can click there. You can have save the draft. So if you didn't want to do it for whatever reason, you click delete draft. That will delete it for you. But next, uh, on the thing on the apps, so we're going to go to the uh, meetings uh, tab right here, and then it's going to uh, bring up all the meetings that you have. So also your personal meeting ID, so this is what you'll need to send to people if you're doing a personal meeting with them. And you can see below it uh, the business, like the business two class I just created, the business one. I also want to create it earlier, so that will show you all the times for your businesses, etc. Then you can go to the contacts menu, and then uh, you can see all the stuff like here. You get the start, external contacts, company directory, uh, like the, your people on your friends list, etc. Uh, the channels also there, and you can click on the uh, uh, the plus button, and and then it's going to bring up add contact. And then you can type in the email address, etc. And then again, you can create a new channel, uh, got a private channel, a public channel. And then you can click plus again, and then it's going to bring up uh, the join a public channel. Like you can do the, uh, multiple different things through this way. You can also add an app, which is uh, going to give you multiple different options. Uh, if you didn't know, you could do this. Uh, you got things like Evernote, Asana, all things like that. You got a bunch of these apps, and they potentially could be helpful uh, within the Zoom Cloud meetings. Like combine them together, uh, so you can see them for yourself here. All these things which you might. Uh, want to add to it I'm going to show you for all these things here but you can add them to it and it will connect itself with the zoom app uh, so that's pretty much everything within there now onto the settings at the top there it will say like your name with uh, like your email there and then it's going to bring up your my profile you can change your profile picture with the camera right there and then or a, a picture from your gallery you can change your display name there first name and last name you can also write a personal note for whatever reason uh, you can update your password. It's really simple to do that with the old password, new password, and confirm it. Really simple within the app there. And also, you've got the uh, personal meeting ID. You see, this right here says upgrade to a pro uh, to get a custom personal meeting ID. There's a few different things in here. You're going to need to have the pro version to do. So do bear that in mind. If you want to do all the features, you need the pro version. Leave a like on the video if you would like me to uh, do a video about the pro version of it if they want to see that let me know you can sort of sign out in that part as well but this uh, is the meeting setting thing all these different types of things here you're going to see it for yourself and uh, they're going to be like automatic uh, the contacts there see so your phone contacts matching contact requests so here you want to see them be able to add them chat them or reject uh, the contact request etc like that and then the different chat options these are all like uh, so it'll be like your uh, things that are going to save to all these options right here you got general uh, different things here, and then you've got uh, so short across the other battle version menu. Not really too much to talk about with this part of the app, uh, but then you can also go back to the start. There's a few different things, like in the top left hand corner, you've got the start things. There's going to be all your files that you have. You can click there and uh, you can click on that. A piece of files, all files there. You can search them up if you've got multiple of them. Contact requests are going to be never appear in there. And then you can go back, and then you've got uh, like your like personal like writing space here, right here. If you wanted to go ahead and do that, write some notes, etc. Uh, so that's pretty much everything you can do within there. So we're going to go back, 
and then the pretty much that's going to be the uh, end of it apart from maybe if you want to like uh, message someone uh, a few different things to go for we're going to like go like test message someone this is how you're going to do that and then also one other thing is that you can like delete the message potentially uh, uh reply and this is how you do all of that all you got to do is press the three little buttons by the person or uh click uh, in on the uh, message then you'll be able to do that and then also you can add uh, all these like things here, like from your photo album, etc., video call, or by pressing that plus button in the bottom left. But hopefully that right there covered absolutely everything. I well, didn't want to go too much in depth into things, but if there's anything else, leave it in the comment section below. I'll answer your questions. But do leave a like on the video if that did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on the video to see more how-tos on this app and other ones like it. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.